When it comes to the absolute best spec weapons in old school RuneScape, where does your mind go to? Maybe the Dragon Glows, or the Armadale Godsword, maybe the upgraded Abyssal Dagger, or the Void Waker. But what if there was one weapon that is so much better than all of them? And that weapon is the upgraded Dark Bow. It came with the new Bounty Hunter release and it is absolutely amazing. I'm not joking when I say that you can one hit almost any target with this weapon. After testing this out myself, the max hit I could do is 4848 and with vengeance plus ring of recalls i can easily hit over 100 hit points in less than one second and that's exactly what i tried to do i spent the last three days trying to surprise other players and the results were shocking to say the least trust me you wanna see this okay let's start the video First, I need to get 100 points to unlock the Dark Bow in Butte Scroll, and I just have the perfect target for that. Robert is a well known YouTuber and a big gear who has participated in a lot of the Deadman mode tournaments and almost won the first one. And he has no idea what's coming for him. 3, 2, 1, now. Bam, you love to see that. Robert is down and I have 100 bounty hunter points. By the way, I've collected this for the last 10 hours for this video specifically. It's time to unlock the scroll. First, let's open the key and Robert lost 1 million GP. Respectable. And now let's buy the dark bow scroll. 100 points for the imbued scroll, buy one, bada bim, bada boom, we have it unlocked. I'm gonna attach it to the bow now and this is where the fun begins. Let's start PKing with the upgraded dark bow. By the way, in case you didn't know, I'm not gonna pretend here like I'm doing live commentary on my YouTube PK video. That is so difficult to do and I am by no means an expert PKer, so we're just gonna enjoy this show. You and me, let's have fun for the next 10 minutes and let me show you what this bow is capable of. Starting with this skill, right over here. Yep, you saw that right. Just a casual 51 to start things off. The loot for this skill was 500k and it's a perfect clip for warming up. I will show you all the loot at the end of this video and I will say right about now that I got some pretty juicy loot at the second part of this video but we'll get to that later. For now though, here is a second kill with the dark bow like 2 minutes afterwards and yes, that was a 2940 which, you know, we're ramping up here. By the way, loot again, 700k, like I said, we're cranking this up. This was just 3 minutes of PKing. Okay, next up, this is my personal favorite because every time you get a PK against a Void Waker, a flower starts blooming somewhere in the world. Because my god, I hate that weapon and yes, I did use it myself at the start of this video because it is so freaking OP. Luckily, Dark Bow is better. Okay, let's talk about Bounty Hunter for a little bit while I PK this guy. My overall concern is this. Okay, I'm just gonna be blatant here. I'm willing to eat my own hairy butt if this minigame is alive in the next month. That's how confident I am. Luckily, I don't think I have to munch on that because the fifth iteration of Bounty Hunter has the exact same flaws as the previous versions. Bam, there we go. 22-34 hit for another quick KO. And the loot this time was around 700k. We take that. So, Bounty Hunter. The inherent flaw this minigame has always had was that the rewards are either too good and the players start to immediately abuse them or they're not good enough and players don't want to do it in the long term. And this time, it's actually no different. Let me just put into perspective how insane firstly this PK was. Okay, well, it was actually pretty casual, but also how useless the rewards are for Bounty Hunter this time around. And the loot this time is 1.6 million GP. I'm telling you, it's starting to rack up. So the problem with the rewards, they first they take up to weeks or sometimes even months to obtain because the prices are so ridiculously high and secondly they are all untradeable and you can only use them inside the bounty hunter. The good thing is if you do use them inside the bounty hunter you get something like this. Yes, that was a 3947 AK 86 with one spec of the dark bow and that's not even the max hit, you can go higher than that. Now imagine if you could use this weapon in all PvP activities or even heck use it everywhere. Imagine a world where you can take your dark bow outside PvP. How awesome would that be? Imagine using this in somewhere like Dooms of a Mascot. You add liquid adrenaline on top of that and immediately you get a new tactic to complete raids. I think that would be extremely awesome and it's not even that overpowered. You have to sacrifice a lot to get those hits. 
For instance, the price of full Stadius outfit is 550 points for the helmet, 800 points for the body, and 650 points for the legs. So the full cost is 2.1k points. Plus, if you want a weapon as well, which the outfit works together with the Stadius 4 hammer, it's extra 550 points. And that adds up to 2.6k points. You wanna know how long 2.6k points takes to get? The average speaker can get up to 10 points an hour. Honestly, I would call myself average. I'm not the best, I'm not the worst, and that's where I land. So if I wanted full Stadius with the weapon, it would take me probably around 300 hours just to obtain that set. In better terms, that's probably like two months of constant gameplay. And then I can only use that set inside the Bounty Hunter, nowhere else. And it's not even that good. Yes, it's it's OP, but that's what you should get if you spend two months trying to get one minigame item set. Unlucky for my opponent though, he just lost 5 million GP. I'm so sorry man, it was the Dark Bow, not me, I promise. And these prices go for all bounty hunter items, they are all untradeable and they all take months to obtain and you can only use them inside the minigame. Oh and the worst part is, you also have to spend extra 50 million GP just to activate the ancient weapons and if you die once, you lose that money. How insane is that? By the way, not as insane though as me getting another PK with my Dark Bow right about now. A 2849 giving me a total hit of 74. Honestly, this is the only weapon you should realistically go for. Loot this time was a hefty 1.2 million GP. We take those. So yeah, unfortunately the rewards are just not worth going for unless you are a diehard bounty hunter fan, which I assume there are very few players, or you just want to have fun with the upgraded dark bow like this. Loot for a 8 second PK was 1 million GP. But let's put the rewards aside for a second, I don't think anyone realistically is gonna go for the Vesta Longsword for 750 points unless you're a content creator, but instead let's focus on the minigame itself. They fixed a lot of the things that were problems in the previous versions, but a lot of the issues still are there. Oh, I just want to show you this max hit I got on this guy. 3, 2, 1, boom. Yes, that was a 48-39 hit, which comes to 87 damage with one spec. How insane is that? And that showcases that 48-48 is possible, meaning since you can hit twice with the upgraded Dark Bow, in theory, it's possible to hit 96 damage twice in 3 seconds. And the loot for this PK was a hefty 1.5 million GP. So let's talk about the minigame itself. There is still so much griefing going on. The most casual thing right now in this clip, for instance, someone specs me twice with Dark Bow and then just runs away. And that is such a casual thing to do for people, which I absolutely hate. Or if they don't use Dark Bow, they just rush with the Void Waker. Watch this clip. A guy just blasts me double spec with Void Waker and I'm like, WTF, why you do that bro? And then my target comes and freaking does the exact same thing again. Just double Void Waker spec. And this was a constant thing that happened over and over again. People just spec twice with Void Waker and hope you can't out eat them. That's their entire plan. And then I found the worst player I've ever met during those three days I spent at Bounty Hunter. The absolute lowest point a human being can reach. This guy was just non-stop insulting me. He never met me before, never heard about me, but he still decided to take his anger out on me. He kept saying I'm bragging even though I was risking well over 2 million GP in this clip and he was just a bad person. Like clearly he was mentally unwell. Unfortunately he did kill me but for his sake I hope he double name changes now because the entire world knows what kind of filth he is. And I wish I could say he was the only one but unfortunately there were many many more. I mean to be honest it is on me for a little bit expecting a nice time in the B game community so I'll take half of the blame here. Back to big game though, we talked about the rewards, we talked about the minigame itself and there is one more thing I want to talk about and that is this. If you have never big gate before, I would highly recommend not trying out Bounty Hunter yourself. This minigame does not favor you whatsoever. You will get destroyed and demolished once you enter the arena because it's filled to the brim with people who have big gate for over 10 years now and you have a lot of catching up to do. 1.7 million GP loot, yes please, thank you. 
What I mean by that is if you don't know how to triple your inventory setups, how your weapons work, and how to calculate risks, this is not a good place to learn that. Even I don't understand fully all the mechanics yet, and I am by no means a good PKer, but I've honestly practiced this for months now and you can still see I make a lot of mistakes. If you truly want to learn to PK, you should start with PvP Arena, then maybe move to LMS and then come here to try it out. Otherwise, you're just going to lose so much GP and you're not going to have a good time. What I have noticed, however, is if you want to make a lot of GP right now, PKers are desperate for points. So they're willing to buy targets off you for 1 million GP, which means they get to kill you for no risk. And in return, they give you 1 million GP cash. There's already discords set up for this, and it's a booming business for people who just want to make a quick buck. I'm not kidding. I heard people make like 7 million GP an hour right now, just looting the piles of PKers and giving target kills. And honestly, it's so much more profitable than peaking itself. So I would highly recommend you take advantage of the situation because otherwise you're gonna end up like this. Why I say it's more profitable just to loot and give target PKs is because even though you didn't see that so far, I died a lot in this video. And I mean a lot. I didn't even record all my deaths and I think overall I just lost like 10 dark bows in this video which is insane to think about. People are just really really good at PKing and if you have multiple weapons that can hit 70s and 80s in less than a second it's very difficult to stay alive. And at the end, most of the time, it really does come down to luck. Who's gonna get better specs, who's gonna get a better revenge combo, and so on. If you actually wanna profit, bring cheap gear and powerful weapons. The best combo so far I've seen is full melee void and void waker. Really cheap and replaceable. Okay, it's time to end this off. I wanna believe this is a good update, but the reality is probably gonna be the opposite. I think in a few weeks, this minigame is probably gonna have only a handful of players left, but damn it, I would be lying if I didn't have so much fun with the dark bow. I just wish I could use it outside this minigame as well. And to end things off, we got our best PK of the night and it's almost 6.5 million GP loot. Now, the final question, did I profit? And the answer is no, not really. This is my loot tab and yes, it does show over 30 million GP, but I'm not gonna lie, it is hella expensive to fight in this gear. One fight alone cost me like 200 gains supplies and I must have had like at least 50 fights where nothing really happens. I mean, heck, dragon knives are currently like 7k each and I lose about 20 of them in a single fight. So there's that. Overall, I think it was pretty even, but it was fun to test out a new dark bow. It's a really good weapon now and if anything you should try it out yourself for now though i'm done with bounty hunter and if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing we're so close to 20 thousands but for now i'll see you all in a few days with another video bye mm -hmm.